Good morning. Today is Monday, October 12th. Thank you for joining us while we talk about Matthew 4, 4 and how man shall not live on bread alone. Uh, today marks the beginning of week three of our fast, which is carbs. Yes, nobody likes carbs anyways. So that's great. I'm super excited about this. Um, so the, we're going to talk about the three different levels we're doing. Um, level A will be no carbs at all. Um, if you want to do level B, that's one portion a day. And then level C is two portions a day. So, um, yes, so exciting. This is actually like my least favorite one, I think, because I love bread. It's my go-to, but you know, I, I, I'm sure I could use a week off of bread, but, uh, we've already made it through, um, no desserts, which was super easy for me. And then we made it through, uh, only water. As, as drinks. Now that one was not as easy. In fact, I got a funny story I'm going to tell about Stacy. Uh, one morning we woke up, I think it was the very first morning we woke up and she says, um, I said, baby, we, 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 I can't believe we slept this late. She's just like, yeah, but I mean, I don't really have any reason to get up. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's, I was like, life. And she's like, yeah, what do I have to live for? I can't have any coffee. So she's having, she had a rough week with the coffee, so um, be praying for her. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm excited. We're going to be talking about uh, Matthew 4.4, 4. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of back up and read a little bit of it um, right before. So this is Matthew 4, 1 through 4. Uh, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he then became hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, if you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So, first thing I want to talk about is my favorite, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Matthew 4 1. And it's because, I don't know, it's just funny to me that when Jesus was led by the Spirit until the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, it says this, and after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he then became hungry. That's funny to me. I don't know why, but like imagine sitting there, you know, I imagine he's in the desert, like in a cave, not moving, um, hadn't eaten for 40 days, and then he's just become hungry. Like right then he became hungry. Like I go a meal and I'm really hungry and I'm grumpy. And so I'm sure that like setting this up, man, I don't know. When I'm grumpy and I see how Jesus responded to the enemy, it really puts it in perspective for me. So this, when he talks and, and he says to, to the enemy, he says, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I just think about that and it's, it's, it's amazing the trust he had in the relationship that Jesus had with his father. And, you know, as we're going through this fast, um, it's, it's been interesting to see how, you know, headaches will come or, um, you know, for me, I get grumpy when, when I don't get what I want. Um, uh, and, but I've noticed, and my, my wife actually pointed it out, that, you know, once I feel that feeling, when I start to pray right then, that afterwards it goes away, which is awesome. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the neat things I like about fasting in that when, when I fast, when I try to white knuckle it and just try to get through and like diet, it doesn't really go away. The pain is always there. But when I remember to pray and do what I'm supposed to do, um, then, you know, it's, it's bearable. And the reason for that is because I, I believe that God just gives us grace. And he comes in and he helps us out and he understands what's going on. He obviously understood what's going on 40 days doing it. Um, but one thing I would like to talk about with this, because Jesus said it's written that man shall not live on bread alone. But one of the interesting things is, is that man pretty much does live on bread alone. If you look at man like as a whole, like as, as a whole, even me most of the time, um, you know, if, if we don't eat, a lot of problems happen, you know, a lot of things. We have to have that food. I mean, it can kill you eventually. You know, there's there's people all across the world, not so much in America, but all across the world that struggle just to get food. Um, and so 
it's interesting that it's written that man shall not live on bread alone. Um, when, when I think as a whole, one of the reasons we are in this place is because of this. Because God created us, yes, to eat, but also to, to feed on his word daily. And I think that's the beauty of this fast, is it really gets our flesh in line with, with getting it back to where we should be. To where, you know, pastor's been talking about oxygen and just breathe and that prayer is our breath and it's our oxygen. And, and every day when I am giving up something that I want and that reminder kicks in when I'm like, man, I want something other than water or this week's going to be, man, I really want a hot dog bun with my hot dog or I really want, you know, not to just eat meat. I want bread with it. You know, in those moments, that the beauty of this is it, it allows me to go through and to focus on Him and to pray. And it's even, I, I feel like it's even harder because it's not something that the Lord personally told me, Hey, Jason, there's some stuff I really want you to fast this week or I really want you to fast this month. We're doing this corporately. We're submitting to pastor and the, and the staff and 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 saying we're going to do this together and we're not praying for something that that is really for us i mean it is but it's for the whole of the country it's for everything that's going on across the country and and that's that can be more difficult at least for me it can be more difficult because it's a big vision thing as opposed to something that's just happening and it will affect me right this second and so one of the neat things about it though is i think that with that comes comes more grace and I think it's honorable to submit to our authority and to pray and to sacrifice and pray for for people that I mean I probably will never meet President Trump I'll probably um, you know there's many people that we're, we've been praying for that you know I'm probably I'm not gonna know them on a first name basis but just to be able to honor that leadership and honor the authority God's put in our lives and pray for them um, I think it's a big deal and I think that as we look at what's going around going on right now around us um, we're gonna begin to see a shift because God honors prayer and he honors sacrifice and you know we we've talked about if if my people will and, and that whole scripture and everything that goes with that you know that's what we're doing right now and and the Lord's not He's not blind to it. He sees it. And so I just want to encourage you, continue throughout this week, continue. I look back on every time that I'm struggling with the fast, I look back on this scripture, Matthew 4, 4, and realize, you know, I'm struggling with not eating carbs, but the reality is Jesus did 40 days in the desert. And um, if he can handle that, then I, I can buck up. I can be I can be a man for a couple of weeks and and I can I can set this up because it's neat that with every day it's another win and it makes it easier and you get closer but you don't just get closer to finishing you get closer to God which I love so that being said I'm super excited about this week I think it's gonna be awesome I think it's gonna be great to get closer as, as we grow and, um, and and to see what God's gonna do with our country because I know that his eyes are on us and he's starting to move. So last thing I'd like to remind everybody is um, the, the daily prayer calls. So 1215 to 1230 um, in, in the afternoon and also at 8 and 815 at night. Please join us as Leaders of Freedom jump on and we all pray together. So hope you guys have a great day and uh, yeah, here we go. Let's do this.